Rare are defensive players to have been rewarded on a world scale. Fabio Canavero has. The Italian is a legend on the other side of the Alps. He led the Azzurri for many years, leading his teammates to the ultimate accolade, a World Cup victory. Cannavaro was a defender who was afraid of nothing and nobody. Rough, skillful on the ball and cunning, he had the perfect combination of the player who quickly became indispensable to his team. Here is a look back at the Italian's career, culminating in a 2006 season that exceeded all expectations. Subscribe to Megafoot, the best of football in video. When you're a young defender aspiring to be a great player, what better way than to test yourself against the best? That's how Fabio Canavero started his career. At Napoli, in front of him during his first years in training was the great Diego Maradona. In the 1992-93 season, he played his first minute on the field as a professional. These convincing appearances led Marcelo Lippi to give him a start. Canavero only stayed with Napoli for about 60 games. In 1995, he left his youth club and joined Parma, a project that was on the rise. In the yellow and blue jersey, he was to form one of the most successful defensive pairs in history. Along with Lillian Thurum, they will make the club's glorious days and save their last line of defense, Gianluigi Buffon, a lot of work. It took a few years for the machine to really take off before conquering Italy, winning two Italian Cups in 99 and 2002, and the Italian Super Cup in 2000. It was also in 1999 that Canavero and his teammates won the UEFA Cup. The team was brilliant, notably composed of Roberto Baggio, Juan Sebastian Veron, and Hernan Crespo. Players who would later leave Parma, leaving the club in the depths of the standings. In 2002, it was time for the Italian to move on and find a more ambitious project. In the meantime, Fabio Cannavaro has become an indispensable player in the Italian national team. First called up by Cesare Maldini in 1997. He made a name for himself alongside Alessandro Nesta in central defence. The two players shone, but couldn't do anything in the penalty shootout against France in the 1998 World Cup quarterfinals. They were then caught out by the same French team in the Euro 2000 final. A defeat that remains engraved in the memory of the Italian rock. The most painful memory of his career, according to him, because the Azzurri deserved to win. He then went through a more complicated period between 2002 and 2004 with a spell at Inter Milan. He played for the black and blue club, but they were always overtaken by their rivals AC Milan and Juventus. It was after a surprise transfer to Juve in 2004 that he enjoyed his first success in Series A. Two, to be precise. He won the 2005 and 2006 Calcio. It must be said that he was able to reunite with his defensive pair from Parma alongside Lillian Thurman. He was also joined in goal by Gigi Buffon. Canavero will savor 2006 to the full at the club and international level. After a huge disillusionment and a defeat in the last 16 of the 2002 World Cup against Korea due to numerous refereeing errors, Italy lost in the group stage of Euro 2004. In 2006, they had to turn things around and become a major nation again. Fabio Cannavaro is the captain of an aging but no less talented Italian team. The squadra Azzurro passed one round after another. Fabio Cannavaro put in a stellar defense performance in the semi-finals against hosts Germany. In the final, it was once again the French enemy that stood in the way of the Italians. In an unlikely scenario, Zinedine Zidane was sent off for a headbutt on Matarazzi. Italy eventually won the penalty shootout. Cannavaro did not pick up a card in the entire tournament. He was voted second best player of the World Cup and a few months later won the Golden Ball. He's the second defender to win the award after Franz Beckenbauer. It was in the wake of this successful World Cup that the defender signed for Real Madrid. Wanted by his former coach Fabio Capello, he made a good start. During the three seasons, he showed the full extent of his talent winning two ligas. But he also showed his limits, as he was past 30 and was often overtaken by speed of opposing strikers such as Thierry Henry. 
He left Casablanca free in the summer of 2009 and returned to Juve. Back in Italy, he played, but his performances were less good. He made 33 appearances in all competitions, but did not sign for another year. It was at Al Ali that he finished his career in the United Arab Emirates between 2010 and 2011. Aware that his body could no longer cope with the succession of matches at the highest level, either with his club or with the national team, he announced that he would end his professional career in 2011. Among the tributes paid to him, Gigi Buffon thanked him for everything, saying, Fabio was my knight. If Cannavaro's career has been exceptional and full of trophies, officially the two Calcio awards he won with Juve in 2005 and 2006 were stripped from him because of a sports fraud scandal. Fabio Cannavaro was also involved in a scandal in 1999 when a video was released showing Parma players appearing to dope just before the UEFA Cup final. Events that tainted his career Now Fabio Cannavaro is a coach. Between the Emirates and China, he continues to learn his trade and progress away from Europe. But there is no question that one day he will not put all his experience as a former champion at the service of a big club or a national team. He recently declared that he is working hard to one day coach his former club Real Madrid. Like many of his compatriots, Cannavaro has led his career in style. Are there still defenders today who exude such class on the pitch? Tell us what you think. Thank you for watching our video. If you like it, don't hesitate to talk about our channel around you, to like it and to share it. And I'll see you soon for a new video. Ciao.